to you. Like you shouldn't even have a camera. But hey, and stop, hey, shit. stop giving away all the, stop giving away all the tricks of the trade, man. <laughs> that's neither that's here nor there. But if I'm running a post route <clears throat> and the cameraman is, he's filming the game and he's in the secondary. I'm wide open. I got the corner beat. I run into the cameraman. The ball falls, hits the ground. The defense is like, woo. Yeah. The offense is like, bro, that was six. Yeah, easy six. At, at that point, it becomes a Florida loop problem. Yeah. It can also, yeah, I mean, it's, it can also injure the player, though, for real, because he's not looking yeah, yeah, for that cameraman squatting in the middle of the field either. It, it can injure the player, but it becomes a Florida loop problem. Yeah. Like, we can't just assume he was going to catch it. No. Nor can we assume he was going to drop it. <laughs> yeah, so straight up. how do we fix this problem? I'll tell you what. He shouldn't even been out there. And that's that's where it came from right there. You know, kids are reversing field. And you you in the play, you behind the offense where you should be. But he done reverse field. Now he running behind you. Now you setting the pick. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah. like, that becomes a Florida League problem, too. So, we don't want a problem in Florida League. So, I'd rather deal with the five cameramen with, than to deal with the 6,000 individuals in the league and their families and saying, like, we ain't going to the playoffs because we ran into a cameraman. Gotcha. So, that's, that. that's where that comes from, bro. Right? I get it. I get it. I get it. And, and and I feel like, you know, I don't know nobody prices, but I know a lot of cats ain't just showing up at the game just for sport. They getting a the ticket, right? They getting they 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 getting the, <laughs> the, the okay, take a little bit of that <laughs> ticket and put into your put into your camera, get the fat boy lens. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm get, just, get your nice lens, quality phone, and, good zoom. Stop. <laughs> So, and, and and I just, you know, I ain't knocking nobody, you know, in, in their craft, but all I'm saying is, like, your craft can't supersede the brand, the Florida League brand, and and, and become an issue for us. Hey, hey, listen, anybody that's out there streaming games, they they, they, they should get that. They, they should get that. Because, I mean, nothing you said was a lie, man. It would be real. Look, man, listen, I, I'm not going to hold you up, man. Listen, to anything... Else that you want the people to know, anything that you feel as though we didn't touch on that you know you feel as though the audience needs to know, man. You got the floor before I let you go, boss. Nah, man. Like Ali chose Corsell, Howard Corsell, right? I'm choosing you. Like it's 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 it's, it's gloves off. Like whatever you need to know, whatever you want to know. But at the end of the day, like man, you don't really see me on social media. You don't really see me doing that because it ain't about me. Like I want. I want Florida Elite to, to outlive me. You okay. know what I'm saying? So, like, like we were joking the other day, like, if you know me, you know me. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. But you also might see the same face picking up trash. You also might see the same face directing traffic. Because I'm not going to ask anybody in my league to do something that I wouldn't do. You know what I'm saying? So, Straight like, up. I really... This is uncomfortable for me. This is this, this not where I'm comfortable at. This ain't my zone. But I felt like it was necessary, like, to show the people that, you know, people are really out there trying to create something for your kids. Like, I don't have a dog in the fight. My kid plays soccer. You feel me? Yes, yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, but again, like, we got some stuff down the pipelines that, is life changing, and what I can say about the Florida Lee family, the mafia, as a lot of people call them, you call them a cult. Uh, <laughs> and the hey, Florida Lee cult, man. Cult. <laughs> cult. But, but honestly, bro, I feel like every league should have that same type of strong following. Like I'm For not, sure. we're not in competition with anybody, nor should they be in competition with us because we're servicing kids. Straight and up. however you elect to do that. That's on you. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, you'll never come to a Florida League meeting and hear that, oh, it's all about the kids. That's so cliche. Yeah. We just try to show them our action, man. Like, yo, I want you, if you if you give $10, I want you to get $30 worth of stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, like, Fair that's enough. on us to, to make that happen. And at the end of the day, man, I got a strong, strong... Um, 
executive board. I got strong, my presidents, hats off to my presidents. 30 of y'all, probably 29 of y'all text me today, but we'll talk about that later. <laughs> but, but I got, you know, 30 presidents that they go hard for their or, you yeah, know? And at the end of the day, yeah, they deal with parent issues. They deal with all of that. But at the end of the day, they represent their or well. And, and, and that's all I can expect. And like I said, Florida lead ain't for everybody. You know, if we had all the teams that ever came to Florida lead, you know how many teams we have? Which, how many you have? We probably have about 70 teams. <laughs> Jesus. Man, so, so you guys probably it, turned down <laughs> at least uh, no, as many te- more teams than you got in, than you have in your league. No, I'm saying the teams that have came. Oh, came and gone. Left. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. I ain't talking about the applications that never, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, but that's not the shade. That's just yeah. the law of attrition. Straight you know up. what I'm saying? Because one of our goals was set out is to, to be the most competitive league in the state from top to bottom. And I think over time, eight years in, 40 champions, less than 13 went undefeated. Wow. So. You got to do you a know, good job yeah. over there, man. Yeah, we, 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 we've had six and four and seven and three playing the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah. Polk County would lost, what, three games? Six, four, three, six, four, four games that year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's an ugly, it's an ugly T-shirt, but at the end of the day, that's saying that two world champs say the same hey, shit. Like, hey, listen, like, as long as you win the big one, man, it don't matter. It don't matter what you did, you the, won the, the big one. Might, hey, the T-shirt might not have a zero on it, yeah. but at the end of the day, the, the last sentence say the same damn thing. So, two world like, champs. When we sit down and put a schedule together, we, we, me and Dave, like, we don't have a scheduling committee. We okay. ain't got no dogs in the fight. You know what I'm saying? So we put the most conske- most competitive schedule that we could possibly put with the dates, you know. Uh, Straight up. In GTM, they, you know, they came in this year. They, hey, we want all the smoke. You ain't got to ask for it. It's coming. <laughs> and, and, and I love E. I love E. I love Greg and them guys. You know what I'm saying? And and that's what I want everybody to want. KJ at West Orlando Jack yeah, and Richie. Yeah. You know, Osceola, Sarasota, everybody want Tampa Hurricane. Hey, let's listen, bro. Let's bump. Lee Brown bro- broke off this year, right? Yeah, yeah, straight up. We ain't, hey, we ain't saying he a first year program. He Lee Brown. Let's run it. Yeah, yeah, run it. Hey, <laughs> hey, 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 listen. He he, he <laughs> built, he built that part. He built that organization to win some. He didn't build it to be thing, mediocre. One thing by him. At the end of the day, he's going to talk it. So, hey, yeah, he's going to yeah, have to yeah. earn the right to talk. You know what I'm saying? So, but hey, you know, Lee, hey, Lee Brown going to talk it, man. Lee Brown going to talk it. He, he ain't got to worry about that. that. That's a guarantee. Hey, but but all my orgs, man, I, I can tell you one thing Cypress did, and I hats off to Billy and Steve and the yeah. Roby and all them cats down there, is that they came in Florida Lee that first year, and they were like, wow, you know. And they knew what they needed to be successful. Yeah. And they went out and got it. So yeah. if you lazy, this might not be the lead for you because you're going to take a whole bunch of L's, bro. Yeah, you're going to take a lot of beats, man. You're going to take a lot and of beats. It's bigger, than, it's bigger than the field. Truth be told. However, the field does matter. Of Especially course. Especially when you're on the internet all the time. The, the, the field matters. The, the, so, the field is the foundation. You know, it's mm-hmm. bigger than the field, but the field is the foundation for everything else, you know, that your organization is doing. You know, I don't care what field you in, you're gonna have a foundation and a core of who you are. And football is the core of a youth football league. That, that's just what it is. Not saying that you can't add on and, and, you know, add on and build on that, but youth football has to be the foundation. Because if you're not giving people a good youth football product, in their eyes, a lot of the other stuff really don't matter. Because it's gonna be grand open, <laughs> grand closing. For sure. For sure. Grand For open, sure. grand closing. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, like again, man, just a word to all the, you know, leaderships out there, whatever you in, Park Warner, T B Waterfield, near Florida, Central Florida, whatever the case may be, man, it's like the competition 
that's gonna happen on the field, but as executive leadership, bro, we doing the same thing. Like, do you, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, do you put pen to pad, execute your plan, mm-hmm. and let the chips fall where they may? Because the best recruiter is the product. At the end of the day, if you want to say why y'all went from <coughs> eight to thirty. I'm going to just say the product. The product. You know what I'm saying? Good so, hey, you got to play good football over there, man. Yeah. And you do a lot of other things, but you're definitely, but you're definitely playing good, you know, good football. You know, when you guys, uh, you know, when your team step out, out of the league, you know, and, and, you know, they play some of this top, you know, competition from around the state, you know, when they come over the coast to coast, you know, they, they, they fare very, very well, man. So, you know, uh, uh, the product on the field is definitely speaking for us. I mean, with the Heisman, the Espies, and all the other stuff, you know, you, know, you guys are doing a great job over there, B. Reed. But we gave out over 300 academic awards. I want, I want that to be the most. We're gonna, we're gonna publicize that. Florida oh, Leafs gonna take an ad out in every city that we got a team in and say our GPA is this. Okay. And at the end of the year, we're gonna say our GPA is this. So, so that's the biggest impact I really want to have, man, to be honest with you, bro. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Hey, B. Reed, man, look, bro, I knew it was going to be a, a great interview when I finally got you on, man. So, hey, yeah. bro, hey, hey, double salute to you, man. I want to thank you for coming on to the show. You know, Hey, I'm always here, man. If there's anything I can do for you, you want to come back, you know, talk about anything, you know, get closer to mm-hmm. the state championship, man. You know, let's come on back. You know, uh, uh, once you know, once you get everything, you know, finalized, man. Let's go ahead and uh, you know, get it promoted. And let people know exactly how it's gonna go down, man. Yeah, I let you promote it, man. But you know, I don't like the camera, man. I'm old school. Hey, I, I, I know, I know, man. I know, man. I, I got, I gotta pull, I gotta pull you over, man. I got, I gotta pull you over, man. Yeah, I people, you know, people want to see your face, you know, it man. Took Forty minutes to, just to get me logged in. Like I ain't <laughs> know how to do no Zoom, bro. Like that was, <laughs> I was like, yo, cameras. The more you do it, the more comfortable you get, though, Reed. The more you do it, the more comfortable yeah, you nah, get, man. I'm, you know, it's, it's all right. You, you know, you did, you did good, man. You did well, man. Appreciate it. Hey, appreciate, appreciate you, man. Hey, thanks a lot, like Reed, man. You graded me. I like the fact you graded me, man. Oh, appreciate man. It. Hey, get out of here, man. <laughs> all right, man. Have a good one, boss. All right, boss. Man. All right, appreciate man. You have a good one, man. One. One. All righty, guys. Listen, I, uh, with that, I'm going to go ahead and conclude my show. Guys, I want to thank B. Reed for coming on to the show, man. You know, I knew it would be a very, very good uh, interview, man. You know, you know, he was gonna go in depth about some of the things they're doing over at Florida Elite. You know, uh, you know, B. B. Reed and I go back, you know, a few years, man, and uh, you know, he's always been receptive. Anytime I ever reached out to him, you know, with any question or anything, man. So, as I always say, guys, you know, I'm a Florida boy through and through. I know we play football all over the country, but I'm concerned about what we do here, right, in the great state of Florida, and I'm gonna represent youth football in the state of Florida with everything I have in me got until I hit the dirt. And with that, guys, I'm out. Love you guys to death. Double salute. And I'll see you guys on Thursday.